Holo is a pyramid screen that you put on your smartphone or tablet to project holographic images. And scientists in Taipei have developed a smart tooth sensor that monitors your oral hygiene, including flossing habits and smoking, and reports them to your dentist. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. This is a living creature that looks like a rock. It's completely immobile and it eats by sucking in water and filtering out microorganisms. It reproduces by throwing clouds of sperm and eggs into the water to make more living rock babies. So yeah, Smile Drive is gamifying driving. Volkswagen and Google have combined to create a social app that awards stickers for unlocking achievements, such as a 100 mile trip or passing someone driving the same model car as you. It works with any car and even has a feature called SmileCast that creates a travel log of pictures and posts during your trip and collects them on a single URL. The online electric vehicle or OLEV seeks to make public transportation cleaner for the environment by using buses powered by a power line installed under the road. The battery is only used in emergency situations with the high efficiency onboard pickup device using what they call segmentation control technology that only powers those segments of the line the vehicle at that time needs to move. They're still working to make it more efficient so it can eventually become commercially available. Hervding is an airbag for bicyclists. Designed as a master thesis at the University of Lund in Sweden, the idea was to create a protective device for adults who hate wearing helmets. It's worn as a collar around your neck that can be stylishly hidden with a scarf, but inflates to protect the head in the event of an accident. Check out the website for more. Created at the Laboratory of Intelligence Systems, the deployable Airland Exploration Robot, or Daler, is a robot designed to fly and walk on its wings. By using the wings on rough terrain instead of legs, the amount of mass is minimized and the lighter weight allows for greater flight performance. It has the ability to move on different surfaces, climb high obstacles, and navigate rough terrain. On land or on sea, amphibious RV, Sorry. A remote medical care robot is being developed at Waseda University that will allow emergency personnel to check for internal injuries before the patient gets to the hospital. The device can be attached to the patient while on the way to the hospital and a doctor can control it from a remote location. They're starting with remote pregnancy checkup and are hoping to have it used in practical application within three years. The Crabster CR200 is a six-legged underwater robot developed by the Korean Institute of Ocean Science and technology. It was designed to reach places that current propelled designs can't because of strong currents, giving it the ability to easily walk along the ocean floor. It takes four people to operate and uses the front legs that are equipped with manipulators to grasp things similar to a real crab, and it can stay on the seafloor for days at a time. Anivo has come up with a way to make collecting trash more efficient with a sensor that alerts trash collectors when a dumpster is full, so they're not wasting time and energy picking up half-full dumpsters. It's called One Collect, and it uses real-time fill level information and advanced algorithms to calculate the best route so companies are only collecting the full containers each day, and it's said to save 20 to 40 percent in costs. TVI Light are developing intelligent street lighting for up to 80 percent energy savings, 50 percent maintenance cost reduction, lower carbon footprint, and a reduction in light pollution. Using plug-and-play wireless sensors, the lights dim to predefined levels during off-peak hours unless a human is detected and individual lights can be remotely monitored and controlled. They also adjust due to weather conditions and return to normal operating mode in the event of a system failure. Animal Jewelry Project to show the fashion industry that fur is alive. German researchers successfully froze light for a minute. Basically, they shot a laser through a crystal which sent its atoms into two states and then switched off the first laser with a second beam and trapped the second laser beam inside, stopping light. Got that? And this is a huge step in building light-based quantum memory. Scientists at Wake Forest University's Military Research Center are developing a 
method to print skin cells onto burn wounds. By taking the healthy cells of a patient grown in an incubator, they're able to put them into an empty cartridge and print them directly onto the skin. A camera and laser is used to scan the burn and create a 3D map of the wound, and the computer then tells the printer how many and what type of skin cells are needed to fill each area of the wound, where they then become new skin cells. University of Michigan engineers have created stretchable conductors using polyurethane studded with gold nanoparticles. The material conducts electricity even while stretched, and it could be used in the future in flexible electronics and gentler medical devices. Finally, Crystals is an audiovisual collaboration using stop-motion photography that captured crystals growing under a microscope, and it was made by artist Bruno Levy and DJ Kate Simcoe. I'm going to leave you with a robot showing animal-like step reflexes, and as always, thanks for watching. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter, at VsauceTWO, where I share things that aren't in videos like this frog holding a leaf umbrella and other mind-blowing stuff. So go do it now, okay? Go do it now.